I am the soup master. I make soup tasty and faster. I am the soup master. Don't lick the wrapper. Booyah. <laughs> you like my rap? Uh, it's all right. Guys. You've had better. He loves it. He loves it. Did you write that? Or? I just uh, came in my head like this went bing bing. Pretty Sing good. It. Sing it cooler than so I did. You know what they call that in the streets? Freestyle. Yep. It's about free whisking. Eminem, better watch out. You're going to battle rap them. Yep. I am the rap master and the soup master. <laughs> All right, the friends. Today we are making low calorie Italian wedding soup for easy weight loss. That was a rough start, but we'll get it going eventually. Guys, you are just laughing so much. You can't even stop it. Tell Sassy you like my rap, okay? Don't like the rapper. He's laughing behind the camera. He pretends to not like it. All right, the friends. Sassy, my husband, and I, uh, behind the camera, Sassy, have lost 130 pounds each. He's left. We've lost 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for six years. And during our weight loss journey, soup was one of our favorite things to make for meals because it's super easy to make tasty low calorie soups that fill you up because you can, one, the liquid, and two, you can bulk it up with extra veggies and lean protein. It'll keep you full, which is really important when you're eating in a calorie deficit because it makes you really hungry. So, um, I also, one of my favorite soups is Italian wedding soup and I got a craving for it so I decided to make a low calorie version and this is my experiment and you're about to see it. This is the quickest and tastiest Italian wedding soup you're ever going to have and make. So this is what you need. Oh, and you guys ask us all the time, how do you measure soup for portion or for calories? Um, and we do laundry too. This is how we do it. We make it each in our own pot so that we get the exact amount of calories, protein, veggies, carbs, and I'll tell you the calories per serving at the end. So first we use some chicken meatballs. These are Italian chicken meatballs from Zayers in Canada. You can use any chicken, turkey, meatball, whatever you can find. For four meatballs, it's 90 calories, just to give you an idea. We are putting six per person in the pot. So we started with those, cooked them at 400 degrees for 12 minutes, and we flipped them halfway through. Then, while those were cooking, we put the rest of the ingredients into some small soup pots. And it was one cup of baby spinach, for each pot. We used upside down baby spinach today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How? Wee, wee. Oh my gosh, I got dizzy there. Then we microwaved one of these minute rice cups and you literally just peel off the film and you microwave it for one minute and it's done. And it's a perfect portion. Measured a quarter cup of cooked rice into each pot, two cups of reduced sodium chicken broth. Um, I learned a trick. I was gonna get the name brand, like the Campbell's soup, but when I looked on the broth, it was for only half a cup, it was like 10 calories or something. This is four calories for a whole cup. So check all the broths before you buy one and buy the lowest calorie one. That's actually a tip we found over the last six years about every kind of food. Yeah, that's For true. some reason, I don't know if it's like the big corporations maybe have more money to put extra ingredients in, but we found that a lot, the no-name cookies or whatever it was, broth, have lower calories. Yeah, it's true. So really check the labels before you select one. Two cups of the broth, a teaspoon of white Parmesan. Now the reason this doesn't typically just go in Italian wedding soup, but normally you make the meatballs with Parmesan. So I decided to add a little bit for added flavor. Um, but I added it during the cooking and that made a lot of dish work of scrubbing. So add it after. <laughs> but it did make the broth have a lot of flavor. So I True. would still do it. It was worth the scrubbing of the dishes, even though I complained and whined the whole time. <laughs> It's true he did, but then we got them clean. So a teaspoon per pot.
pot of that. And then this is the saving trick. Sliced canned carrots. No cooking, no peeling, no cutting. I literally bought these in the canned foods aisle. Did Sliced you? carrots. Really? I thought they would have been in the frozen section. <laughs> no, I was going to use frozen. I was like, <gasps> canned. So drain them, open them, drain them. Half a cup. When we per said pot. fast soup, we weren't kidding. And I did not know. I, I didn't know if they were going to be mushy, but I wanted to try them because it made it even quicker. Oh my gosh, did those carrots ever hold up in the soup? They were amazing in the soup. So half a cup after you drain them. We did a heaping cup of the carrots. Basically, we split this can. It's a little over half a cup each. And then some salt and pepper. We brought all of that to a boil in each of our separate pots. And then when it was done, we added the six meatballs per pot. And then we each had our own individual soup. And you can buy canned soup. It's low calorie. But for the biggest portion that we have, this will fill you up over a canned soup that you buy at your store. This was about volume wise, I'd say three or four of those small canned soups. So yeah. we like to fill our belly so we're not starving, but keep it low calorie. Exactly. So I'm going to tell you the calories, but like you'll see the bowl, um, Sassaruni puts it, we'll put in some B-roll. It's a massive bowl of soup and it kept us full for hours. Like we ate a few hours ago, worked out and I'm still not hungry. So the calories per serving is, get this, 299 calories. For, for that, that big bowl? For that whole bowl. 299? 299. 8 grams of fat and 20 grams of protein. Whoa. And that's just an estimate. It'll change depending on what you use and everything. Um, and I'm not a mathematician. It was just an estimate. But 300 calories. Like we always say, guys, soup. too, don't get hung up on our ingredients. We are in Canada. So if your ingredients look different, you can't find them, like Nicole said, get the closest to turkey, meatballs, whatever you can find. Yep. Whatever you can find, that's the closest. And I really liked this minute rice because it was already cooked. And this flavor, it's long green and wild chicken style flavor. So that added to the flavor of the broth as well. And that is it. Can you show them um, what a wild chicken looks like? Like that. <laughs> exactly, thank you. I had to think about that for a minute. <laughs> Look at my nutty head now. Whee! Okay, the friends, Kyle and I lost 130 pounds each and kept it off because we eat tasty recipes like this. If you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, check out our weight loss guides in the link down below. We got two of them. Exact portions, exact meal plans, family-friendly recipes, like tasty ones like that. They're all in there. Oh my gosh, I've got wobbly head and we got a brand new guilt-free cookbook. The link is down below. Low calorie versions of all your favorite foods without the guilt and extra calories. Or you can watch these two videos for free and we're gonna wild chicken lawnmower out. That, oh yeah. I just wanna say one thing. Thanks for cutting down on the silliness today. I really appreciate it. No problem. We, oh, we can't be silly. Better. I'll tell you, don't be silly. <laughs> Alright, friends, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do the bells, do the stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Sashay, sashay, sashay. Thanks for watching. Peace out. <sighs> Try not to be silly. People don't like it. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.